Let's ultrasound on today's edition, Pleura versus the Implant Shell. Next, let's talk about how to differentiate between the pleura with the lungs posterior to it and an implant in the breast with an echogenic implant shell wall. When imaging a normal breast ultrasound without an implant, it's crucial to find the pectoralis muscle. The pectoralis muscle will let you know where the chest wall structures are. Posterior to the pectoralis muscle is going to be ribs, and you'll also see the pleura, which is a highly echogenic line on ultrasound, which represents the lining of the lungs. Posterior to the pleura, you're going to see gray haziness, which represents the lungs on ultrasound. When imaging an implant, it can have so many reverberation and other artifacts within the lumen that sometimes it can appear gray and hazy like a lung. However, the implant shell looks different than the pleura because it's more echogenic and you're also going to see either the double line line sign or the triple line sign, which means you may or may not visualize the fibrous capsule because it can blend in with the tissues, but you're always going to see either one or two lines of implant shell and there's always going to be a dark anechoic lucency between the two layers of the implant shell wall if it's a type of implant that has a triple line sign. Where with pleura, you're going to see a bright echogenic white line and anterior to that is going to be striated muscle. 